Hello and welcome to my channel Plants and Infusions. Today we're going to make the most amazing and probably the weirdest Halloween drink that you ever taste. This is not the style of beverage or typical ingredients that we're often going to see in this channel, but I thought that it was an excellent idea to begin with a Halloween special. And boy, this turned out very well. It's about ectoplasm in a bottle. Just see how amazing it looks. And I tell you, it tastes equally awesome. And please, don't be horrified by the ingredients. I assure you, it's not a Halloween trick. Trust me. Join me until the end of the video and try it for yourselves. For this drink, we're going to use the following ingredients. 3 cups of white sugar, 3 quarters of a cup of water, 1 onion, 2 or 3 teaspoons of grated ginger, 4 to 5 teaspoons of lemon zest, 5 teaspoons of lemon juice, 2 teaspoons of white vinegar, 2 tablespoons of glucose or corn syrup, 5 tablespoons of orange flower water, 5 tablespoons of scotch whiskey, with or without alcohol. Food coloring to taste, we use yellow and blue. White luster dust to taste, a small pot, a candy thermometer, this is optional. The first thing we're going to do is to cut the onion in thin slices. Then we peel and grate the ginger. A good trick to peel it is with a spoon, so much easier. We cover all that up with white sugar, about one cup, and we let it rest for some hours. What we want is the onion to eliminate its own juices, together with the ginger, forming some kind of syrup. I forgot to add lemon zest, so I just put it on top and then mix it a little. Try to put it with the rest of ingredients before the sugar, not all of it, the rest is saved for the next step. When some time passed and we see that all the sugar is dissolved but the onion is still hydrated, we can add a little more sugar in the top to continue with the process. Meanwhile, we put in a small pot 2 cups of sugar, the glucose or corn syrup, the water, the white vinegar, we put it on the fire and we slowly stir to help it dissolve. Just a little bit, because the heat will do the work alone. Once it's dissolved, do not stir at all, to avoid it to crystallize. We clean the sides of the pot with some water to avoid the sugar crystals formation and we let it boil in a low heat. A trick here is to put the lid on the pot for a few minutes and the steam will do the work of cleaning the sides for us. We put our candy thermometer and check the temperature constantly. What we need is a syrup a little under the soft bowl stage, meaning a thick syrup but not stiff. If we don't have a candy thermometer, a way of knowing we are in the right stage is pouring some of our syrup in a glass of water. We will see how the sugar strands clearly differentiate from the water, but they are not firm and quickly start dissolving. We put it out of the fire and we let the temperature to drop a little bit before we add the rest of the lemon zest. We cover it with its lid and we let it infusion for a few hours. The time will depend on how intense you want the lemon flavor. You can skip the waiting, just adding some drops of lemon extract instead of the zest. When the time passes, we go to our onion and we strain everything to separate the syrup. Try not to include this undissolved sugar so it doesn't crystallize afterwards. The heat of the next step will help us dissolve any remaining particle. We can save time with the onion and ginger syrup if instead of letting it rest, we slowly heat the bowl by steaming it. This will help to accelerate the exudation process. So, we put again our pot with the syrup in a low fire just to lighten it a little bit, making it softer just with some temperature. You can take it out of the pot and make it in the microwave as well. Take it out of the fire and add the onion syrup, a bit at a time to test the intensity of the flavor. I just add the half of what I had, it was about a third of a cup. If it still has some sugar crystals, give it a little bit more of heat to dissolve. Out of the fire, and letting it cool a little, we add the rest of the ingredients. 5 teaspoons of lemon juice, 5 tablespoons of orange flower water, and 5 tablespoons of scotch whiskey. It's not the alcohol what we want, so we can heat it up a few seconds in the microwave, stirring every few seconds without letting it boil. This way we will evaporate the alcohol while all the flavor stays. 
Now, here you can play with the quantities and proportions, adding each ingredient to taste. This is a concentrated syrup, so to taste the final result, you need to mix a little bit in some water. After adding all ingredients, we add some drops of food coloring until we reach the soft green. And then we add some of the white luster powder. This will give it a more opaque color and some swirling shine. Recommendation? Dissolve it in some water before you add it to the mix. It will be much easier. Just with a little, it turned out very well. But I put some more and it really looks extraordinary. And this is what gives us the visual effect that we want on the ectoplasm. The dust is not soluble and it will set in the bottom in a few hours. You just need to softly shake it in the bottle to maintain the effect. If your final result is still too thick, just add a little bit of water to make it easier to handle and so the sugar don't crystallize. I put like a quarter of a cup. We bottle it and we have our concentrated ready. We can dilute it just with water and some ice. The quantities will depend on how strong you want the flavor. I use approximately 5 to 6 tablespoons for a glass of 500 milliliters, ice included. You can use carbonated water for a fizzy taste or ginger ale. We can even add less water and add some vodka or whiskey for a more grown-up option. In our video, we're going to see several options on how to dilute and present these and other drinks for Halloween. If you're going to have a black light in your Halloween party, the glow of the drink will give it a special touch and reinforce the ectoplasm impression. For this, I will give you two good options. One is to add a little of vitamin B to the mix, and the other one is to dilute it with tonic water. Here, the first cup have tonic water and the second one vitamin B. The vitamin glows in a greenish yellow and the tonic water in a bluish green, and with less intensity. Be aware that both options will change your drink taste. Thanks a lot for joining me in this video. Have fun trying the recipe, and I will see you the next time. Some additional details. You can find the orange flower water easily. Here is more common to find it in pharmacies. Don't confuse it with orange flower extract, which is much, much stronger. This orange flower water contains extract at 0.2%. The luster dust have a lot of names. You can find it as nacar or pearl dust, shine dust, and it for cakes and fondant decorations and that kind of things. You can find it at any store for that purpose. And you can find it online. The lemon we use here is this smaller green lemon. I believe you call it lime. You can use whatever lemon you prefer, but you have to take in consideration that this lemon is much more acid than the yellow one that is used in other countries. So you'll have to adjust the proportions to the desired acidity or add some citric acid. For more recommendations, see the video description. Thanks again, and don't forget to subscribe for more!